Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aries. Aries, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the 23rd through the 29th of November, 2020. Now Aries, please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, alright? Now I'm using the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Guide uh, deck. So I will be pulling one of these, and I will be uh, going over this at the end of your tarot reading. So it will be done last, all right? All right, Aries. Ooh, we have Wolf. Okay. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Aries need to know this week? 23rd through the 29th of November, 2020. Thank you, Spirit. are just wanting to fly everywhere and they're not ready yet all right you guys you know how i am i don't keep them unless my guides are saying yes <laughs> all right all right we're ready situation we've got the eight of pentacles in your foundation we have the king of swords what's benefiting you this week is the three of swords crowning position we have the four of cups and your outcome energy is the emperor there you are aries beautiful very nice all right positive energies right here you have the master number 44 coming through i always tell you guys go and google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation all right let's get started so your situation is the eight of pentacles you know, this talks about mastery. You are highly skilled at what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, Aries. You know, some of you are taking your skill and you're going to make your own way. You're going to be your own boss. You're going to start your own business, especially with the emperor right here. Or some of you could be moving up within a company or corporation as well. Now, this could be mastery of a spiritual journey path you've been on. Okay, some of you definitely have that, that spiritual teacher energy. Um... Another thing that I'm getting with this, whatever your skill is, as long as you, you know, do it, all right, you will be cared for financially, you know, you'll have financial flow that is very successful, it brings stability and security, it, you know, it's that energy of having more than enough, this, this right here is abundance, okay, this tells me that, you know, you're building up your financial empire at this time, okay? You're able to put money in the bank and save, and that's wonderful. Now, some of you may be receiving a certificate saying you've mastered something. This could be a master's degree as well, or it could be a bachelor's degree. Any type of, you know, uh, certificate saying that, you know, you have achieved something of a... A higher learning that's going to allow for you to be able to maybe get a, a different job move up in a, a different position you know it's gonna mean something different for each of you because there are so many of you watching but it's it's a powerful energy all right now we have the king of swords this is in your foundation okay this is what's moving you forward this is what's driving you this week Gemini Libra and Aquarius energy whether you're male or female you know Aries, this is you looking out for number one, making sure that number one is taken care of. I feel like you've recently had to release and let go of some people and situations. Maybe you outgrew them. Maybe, maybe they were unhealthy for you. Maybe they were toxic. Okay? Either way, you've released, you've let go because you're doing what's right and what's just for you at this time. You know, you're using your mind as well as your intuition to move forward. And I definitely see you building something up here, Aries, okay? You've got a plan, and you're very smart, okay? You're highly intelligent with this energy coming up here, and you have the clarity. 
you see the path forward. You know what you want. You know what it's going to take to get there. And you're willing to do what it takes to get to where you want to be. And that's what you're doing right now. Now we have the Three of Swords coming up here. And this is in the position of what's benefiting you this week. So this is amazing. Uh, I'm getting three weeks, you guys. Okay, so three weeks. Um, you could be waiting on an opportunity, an offer, a contract. It's going to mean something different to each of you. But I'm definitely getting that energy of three weeks. Okay, this is divine timing right here. And it, that could mean within the next three weeks, anytime within the next three weeks, okay? Divine timing. And, you know, I'm not getting any bad energies from this. Nothing negative, nothing sad. This is just all about divine timing right here, okay? Some of you are waiting on something. You're waiting to be able to start a business or get a loan. Maybe it has to do with this opportunity right here with the Four of Cups, okay? I see where some of you have turned down some opportunities, okay? Because you know what, what you want. And you've been holding out. Well, looky here. Here it is. Here comes this golden opportunity. This is being offered by the divine. The universe is handing you this cup, this chalice. And you're going to take it. You're like, this is what I've been holding out for, and here it is. Maybe that's what it's going to be within the next three weeks, okay? Or it could be three days to three weeks, even, you guys. I feel like it's, it's it's a lot sooner than two to three weeks out, okay? But three weeks did come to my mind, so it could be three days as well. It's here. It's coming. Here you are, Aries, the Emperor, your outcome energy, okay? You know, this is such a powerful and bold energy. This talks about you asserting yourself. This talks about you working on projects, money-making ideas and projects at that. Stability, security, laying a solid, unshakable foundation, building up your financial empire. For some of you, this is starting a business, maybe from home. Maybe you're waiting on a business loan, okay? This can represent moving up into a leadership role, a position of authority as well. And it's just such an amazing, powerful energy. You could be, you know, this could be a, a grandfather or a father energy as well. And you could have a company or a business that's being handed down to you, okay? And you're going to be stepping into a, a position of authority over that business or company. It's very successful. Some of you have just bought your first home, okay? Paid off a car. Maybe even bought some property. All right, let me look the wolf up. Okay. Here we are. All right, so the wolf is earth energy. Okay, it says, guardian of family and tribe, activism, ritual. The wolf's mission is to uphold the well-being and longevity of the pack. Healthy wolf energy expresses itself through activism, mentorship, humanitarian efforts, or teaching religious or political studies. The wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every member of the tribe must follow suit. This includes children walking in their parents' footsteps. Although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, practicing tolerance helps balance out agitated wolf energy. Contemplate the following. Embrace all. Exclude none. It says when this energy is in balance, it's reliable, democratic, and fearless. When it's out of balance, it's judgmental, dominating. To bring into balance, practicing letting go. Okay? Now... There could be a few of you where it's going to be very important uh, that you, you let go of the past so you can move forward. Now, this very well could have been a hurtful situation, divorce, or something that happened with this Three of Swords for I, maybe one or two of you, okay? But it's time to release, okay, and, and start this new journey because you have a powerful, 
a, a powerful, powerful fresh start here, okay? But it's going to require you to release and let go. It's going to require you not to be so judgmental, okay? Um, I do feel for the, you know, collective, the majority of you, that this is imbalance. And that's why you're able to be so fearless and be able to move forward so successfully, okay? Uh, this is a powerful reading right here. You know, you guys, you have willpower, you have inner strength beyond measure, and you're courageous, okay? And you are protectors, definitely protecting your family, protecting what you're creating, what you're building, okay? All right, Aries, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment, you guys. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Aries.